Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and today I'm up on the UK Scrap Addicts uh, blog, YouTube and Instagram. So this month's theme is monochrome layouts. So monochrome doesn't necessarily have to be um, black and white. Um, it could be um, a, it could be any one colour and use multiple tones of that. Now I have actually gone down the black and white route um, and our, um, our target for um, for this would be, um, if we're going to use black and white, we could use one other colour um, that went along with it. So I've chosen to use a colour that I don't normally use in scrapbooking, and that's red. Um, so I'm going to um, I'm going to use the black and white to sort of tone it down a bit. But I do actually bring quite a lot of red in, which is unusual for me. Um, but I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Um, so I'm going to stick to one of my favourite techniques. Um, this is almost a um, a grid layout. I'm going to use some 3x4 journaling cards. Um, I have hundreds in my stash, so I'm trying to work my way through some of them. And I don't use that many in my project life, so I try and get the most out of them with, uh, with my full 12x12 layouts or 9x12 layouts. So you'll see me here. This is just a um, a snap pack from Simple Stories. I can't quite remember the name of the collection. Um, and it's just one that I picked up, I think, in HomeSense when they've had them, or TK Maxx when they've had them on special for £4. And um, yeah, it's just been sat on my stash for a while and not really done anything with it. I've left this in just to show you how indecisive I am with moving these cards around. So I'm trying to get the um the perfect positioning on this in terms of where i want the black and where i want the red now you'll notice on that card there that says good times obviously that's blue um i am going to cover that up because that is not allowed another color is not allowed on this layout so i will come in with another um i think i'll come in with a piece of ephemera or something else that i fussy cut out to cover over it and you'll see that in a minute now i don't want um, all of these cards to be the full uh, three by four length so I'm cutting the um, the other ones down in half to I think about two and a half inches um, and then I preferred that good times one um, with the white space over on the right hand side so I don't bore you with um, my process of sticking these down, um, which I'll um, I'll cut in a minute. But I'm just going to fussy cut this out first of all. Um, this is a little typewriter on one of the 3 by 4 cards, and I'm going to use that as an embellishment piece. But again, there's some extra colours on there. There's blue, green and yellow, which I'm not allowed to use. So those will get covered up also, um, which we'll see shortly. Um, yeah, so using the 3 by 4 cards, it really does help to um, stretch your, um, your collection if that's what you're using. Or in this instance, these 3 by 4 cards, they came with a small amount of ephemera, but not enough to really go that far. So um, by cutting into the 3 by 4 and the elements on the 3 by 4 cards, you really can make your, um, your packs or collections go um, so much further. So here I've gone with a photograph of um, myself and this was at my nan and granddad's 60th wedding anniversary I think it was. Um, they decided to have a fancy dress party because that's how my family roll um, and because I was wearing red in this, red in this I thought it was um, perfect. So here are the thickers that I've chosen to use. Um, I don't use all of these, I just wanted a selection um, for me to use. I found this way of scrapping um, makes me a lot more productive so if I actually get my supplies out ready I know what I'm working with um, and rather than me sort of messing around trying to find either thickers or ephemera or whatever else I want to use I've got it all um, or I've had it all sat there um, sat with me whilst I have uh, whilst I've made the um, uh, whilst I was making the layout I couldn't think of what I was going to say then so I've just picked up that um, that black camera that is going to cover that blue good times up um, and that will get rid of the, the bit that's making my layout cheat a little bit and that also brings the black down into the bottom row as well. So in the snap pack there were these two by two little cards as well 
Oh, and I'm just pulling in just a few pieces of um, chipboard. These are from some old Studio Calico chipboard sheets. Uh, these white stars are also from Studio Calico. Um, if you haven't heard me say in a previous video, I have um, a storage unit, one that Ikea have been really popular from Ikea, the ones that are about £6. Um, I've got one of those on my desk with a whole load of um, old kits in that I'm just trying to um, work my way through and use up. And um, yeah, especially because we are... Uh, we're moving house very soon and I'm going to try and sort of de-stash maybe a little bit before we go. Um, so yeah, I've got some bits that I'm treating that either if I don't use it by the time I go, then I am going to get rid of them. Um, I have to be brutal. Otherwise, I'll just be picking up a load of stuff that I haven't used um, and I'm not going to use. And I don't want to do that. So anyway, all of these bits and bobs, I'm just going to stick down, but I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to bore you with the process of that because it's not very glamorous. And yeah, it's just making the most out of um, each of the, each of the cards, spotting an opportunity to um, fussy cut them out um, to a smaller size or cutting them down to use like that at this very moment bit. Um, I didn't want to use the full card, but that little sentiment. Um, did work really really well and I'm very very surprised because I'm not I'm not a fan of a red red's not an issue and there's a few colors that I really don't scrapbook with red's not too much of an issue in small portions so this really sort of pushed me outside my comfort zone with um with using so much red on a layout and um yeah as I said I'm I'm super happy with how it turned out. Um, red, a lot of people say, especially with the red dist uh, distress uh, spray stains, um, red quite often gets associated with blood and obviously that automatically puts you off of a layout. Um, but um, yeah, I was um, I was super pleased with, uh, with the effect of, uh, of how this turned out. I think if I was to do it again, I would want to move the layout up ever so slightly. Um, there's a little bit more white space at the top than at the bottom, um, but it, it's not even, it's not going to bother me. Um, these stickers here, so I went through my Chamel, um, American Crafts Chamel sticker book, and I just pulled out all the red stickers that I could find, um, and I just stuck them onto some, um, disused packaging, so, um, I could, um, keep them again to hand, in my little tray ready to use and I'm just filling in some areas there covering up um, any extra colours that shouldn't be in this layout and then I had this big uh, think happy and that really helps contain the top part of the layout in especially because there's so much white space up there and then the final thing is I'm just going to come in just with a couple of these Tim Holtz tiny word stickers one of my favourite things to use on um, a layout and because they're black and white I can use them so um, I think that is pretty much it so um, I hope you've enjoyed the monochromatic theme this month that all the ladies have been working to um, I can't wait to share with you um, the next few months worth of videos there's some good ones coming up um, don't forget to um, to give the videos a, a thumbs up on YouTube don't forget to go and to support us over on Instagram and um, yeah I'll see you all very soon bye